Welcome to my review for Hydronoid. Okay. Um, I don't like to do reviews of special or rare Bakugan. Okay. What I want to do is reviews of just your average Bakugan and show you how to appreciate them. You know, you've heard the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. In Hydronoid's case, he is quite popular. Um, but the one that I have right here, there's nothing special about him. He's just your average B2 Hydronoid. Uh, the original B1 Hydronoid is getting uh, very, very difficult to find just because right now the B1s are kind of out. And the ones that are put in stores, the ones that you can find in stores are the B2s. The B1s are like last year stuff, you know. Um, so this this is a B2 Hydronoid, um, you know. Like I said, nothing special about him. You can find him in stores right now. It's it's not impossible, you know. Uh, but it's definitely not easy. You kind of have to know what you're looking for. And if you look at the design right here, you can see the the circle shape, and then you can see the rest of uh, in the middle. He has like this design where it just comes up and comes down. It, like a repeating pattern all throughout the center like if, if it's wearing a belt okay that's the way you can tell if it's gonna be a hydronoid alright so anyway he's quite popular so I you know I'm sure you you all kinda uh, wanna get him you know so it's probably not a big deal for me to try to explain how cool he is okay but I'm gonna do it anyway in this ball form okay if you look at it basically to me this is really cool just because uh, it this sorry call it ball form this in his marble form okay it's really cool because this to me is the Death Star it's a mini micro Death Star okay so now we'll go into his transformation well here he is uh, transformed what can I say about him definitely he looks evil especially in this darkest the black color uh, the design he looks pretty vicious you know he had he almost looks like uh, this part right here because it's rounded looks like a cobra looks like a cobra snake like two cobra type heads um, and then the fangs you know the they're red and uh, just it just goes really well with the whole uh, design he's he, I really think he's he's really mean looking and it you know it kinda makes sense that he was uh, used by masquerade which is like the main bad guy of the show or maybe not the main but he was definitely the main bad guy in the show for a long time um, so if, if you look at it this way uh, yeah, he definitely looks quite evil, um, and I think the the darkest color is, is very suited for Hydronoid. Uh, definitely a plus is that uh, the name, once again, is influenced from Greek mythology. Uh, comes from the Hydra, the legendary uh, mythical creature. Um, you know, other than that, uh, I do like that he does have the more than one head the two heads um, I think in the show like uh, he goes into like three heads or um, I'm not even sure if if, if uh, they're ever gonna release a toy that has the actual three heads but uh, you know for the time being this is all we get right now so th this is cool unless you count uh, Exedra but Hydronoid is Compared to Exedra, Hydronoid is very retro looking, so I, I do like that. Um, I think he, he makes a great opposition, a great rival for the original uh, Drago, basically Dragonoid. So if you do have a Dragonoid, which I think most of you do have, uh, you know, this. Hydronoid is an excellent Bakugan to get just to just to make them fight each other, you know. I know he really doesn't look like it, but just because he has more than one head and he is kind of like a dragon-like, serpent-like monster, uh, to me, the Hydronoid 
is definitely the King Ghidorah of Bakugan.